Today I got the unboxing of the iPhone 4S. Sorry this is a little late for you subscribers. Um, I was a little sick, wasn't able to make it out to the store, but managed to get it today. And uh, let's uh, open this up. Actually, first we'll take a look at the box. Pretty classic iPhone box. It's iPhone 4S, iPhone 4S, little iCloud sticker at the bottom. You know, some of that st other stuff. Looks like my focus is pretty good today. And let's grab the knife. Grabbing my trusty pocket knife. And uh, I haven't activated this, you know, nothing's been done to it yet. I've heard some people complaining that activation's taking a while. Hope that we don't, I don't have to deal with that. But let's get this open. Oh, the trash can's far away today. Alright, let's pop this open. Oh, I already got a fingerprint and some dust on it. Alright, uh, we'll come back to the actual iPhone 4S. Let's take a look at what's inside real quick. So we got the little, probably, quick start guide and manual in here. It's we got fingertips. So the quick start guide. Um, wonder if it had talks about Siri or whatever that thing's called. Um, creating folders, camera. You know, nothing too important. But I almost forgot about the two Apple stickers. How can I forget about these? Um, of course, get those. What else we got? We got looks like some sort of warning. I don't know, FCC, no junk. And then it looks like we got our three basic things. We got the wall charger, we got the USB to 30 pin adapter thing, and of course Apple earphones with the plus, with the good old plus and minus volume and stuff. Alright, let's just put that to the side. See ya. Let's take this thing out. Hmm, totally forgot to buy a plastic cover for this. But uh, that's okay. Let's take this off. Got the front off. Get this back off. And um, it looks pretty much the exact same as the iPhone 4, except the little notch on the right side, too, and the one on the left is a little smaller. The camera has still only got one LED. Screens, every the rest of the specs are pretty similar. Um, let's see if it, we can turn this on at first. Alright, it's gonna turn on. I'll grab my other iPhone real quick. Uh, this is the iPhone 4 here. This one's got a little bit of a, some bubbles in the it's got a screen protector and it's got two little bubbles in it, but um. I mean, it's the same. It's just pretty much it's the same stuff, except the black bar goes all the way up to here and goes to here instead of just being on the both sides. No service. Oh, cause I need to. All right. So I'm gonna take a. If you guys saw that, yeah, this one has a cracked back. Been me trying to fix that. I forgot that I needed an appointment. Alright, so I guess it came with the new SIM card and this is all registered. English is the default language. That's that's good. Let me just make sure this is the best focus we're gonna get. Let's zoom in on this. That's better. Alright. United States. Enable location. Network. Let me join my network real quick. Alright, so I've jo joined my network now. Alright, sorry about a bit of glare. But uh, yeah, let's continue on. Set up uh, 
Restore from iTunes backup. Oh, sorry. Gotta connect it to iTunes. But, um, yeah, so. Just to take another look at it. Compared to my iPhone 4. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty much identical. The little black goes from here. Except uh, only on the side, this one goes to the top. And then it's got this on this side. I've got currently I can't compare bars but I'll compare them later I'll put in a sim I'll put in a sim card from like uh, from another AT&T phone to this and then I'll compare bars I'll compare I'll do all that stuff uh, make a co leave a comment down below of anything that you think I should definitely cover in a review that may not be extremely obvious or even if it is just comment down below so I don't forget